Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you a really easy recipe and that's how to make gnocchi. You'll never realize just how easy it is to make it. And the ingredients are really quite simple. In fact, there's no recipe for it, it's just the ingredients. And we're gonna start with mashed potatoes and it's about, for every cup of mashed potatoes, we're gonna put in an egg. So I'm gonna just put in two eggs here one and there's the second okay and I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt and mycelium fiber and I'm gonna start mixing this up okay so now I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on my counter make a bit of a well and I'm going to put all of my mashed potatoes into that well. And now, we just start working it. Oh, I need a bit more flour. So you can do this with leftover potatoes, you can make potatoes, you can do dehydrated potatoes, rehydrated, they're, they're so easy to work with and make. And you're gonna see in a minute just what the consistency needs to be for adding flour. There we go, you can see the consistency that I've got here. It's almost like pastry. It's a really nice consistency. And add a little bit more flour There we go, that is the start of gnocchi. I'm gonna start breaking it up and we're gonna make the gnocchi pieces. Set those aside. So you wanna start by rolling your gnocchi, gnocchi out into long pieces and I'm not pushing it out I'm just rolling it flatter and flatter and flatter so it the logs do do roll out and when it's about I'm gonna say a half inch or just over a centimeter in diameter you want to break off pieces that are about just over a centimeter long Now from here is where you're, you can be creative. You can take these pillows and you can put them on the cut side and you can squish them down with a fork and there's your gnocchi. Looks beautiful. And you can see just how quick it is to do that. Oops, that one's a bit tall. Just like that and you've got these beautiful little gnocchi. Alternatively, you can use a gnocchi board, and I made this uh, just outside of my workshop. I've got fine grains and I've got thick grains, and I'm gonna try the thick grain. And you just lightly push, and you can see it comes out as a really nice, and look how quick and easy that is. Oh, I really like that. And let's try the thinner side. So I'm going to put these aside. Oh, these are beautiful. <laughs> okay, now we're going to try the thinner side. And let's just press. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. These are probably a little on the big side. Now, what you want is, with all these ripples, is you want these to catch all the, the, the sauce and the goodness from, from the, the pasta sauce that you've made. And you can see with my thumb I'm also creating a bit of a well. So we've got the ripple on the one side and the well on the other side. What a wonderful thing. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and keep making my, my gnocchi and then we're gonna finish it up by baking, cooking it off. There we go, look at that. I've done all of this gnocchi in about 10 minutes. It hasn't take long, taken long at all. It's wonderful. I chose to go with just the big, the big um, groove and I was just running it down the side to give it a bit of a bit more of a notch. And you can see like it just, it really shapes it so nicely. And these I can flash freeze and then put them in a bag and I can use them at any point. You can cook them right from frozen. They're, it's really easy. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than that. But we're going to have some right now. So I'm going to turn my water up to a full boil. And I'm going to grab a handful of them. Spread those back out. And I'm going to put them right in the water. And you're going to know when they're cooked, when they start to float. Look at that, right, right there, you can start to see them coming up to the surface. They're almost fully cooked. And there we go, that's about 30 seconds. And look at them when I pull them out, like they just, they look like little pillows. They're just gorgeous. Now, if they were from frozen, they would take a little bit longer because you have to thaw them out a bit in the hot water. And I'm going to put some of my homemade tomato sauce on top. If you're looking for the tomato sauce recipe, you can visit the link in the description below. But let's try this. Let's see what it's like. Mmm. Chewy and yummy. Oh, I love gnocchi. I bet you're gonna love gnocchi too. I look forward to reading all of your comments and thanks for watching.